looks like Renata knew exactly where the monster was going to strike. I need to check those sights out. This must be the scarf Renata mentioned. That looks exactly like what the monster was wearing.
This was the site on the map. I should wait and see if the monster appears. Another coded message. I need to figure out what it says. Find a young woman to cast as the victim. <gasps> this is about me, isn't it?
What do you want? I found this scarf. Does it mean anything to you? I thought this was gone forever. Where did you find it? In the passages. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you, Nancy. That story you told me about the girls. That was you, wasn't it? You chased your sister into the woods, but couldn't save her. You're half right. How so? I was the little girl. It was my older sister who chased me into the woods. My sister died trying to protect me. I'm sorry, but you do know that it wasn't your fault. That is not what matters, I guess. Is that why you're here? Yes. I promised myself that it would never happen again. I came here every time there was talk of the monster. Back then, back then I was ready to fight. Now, look at me so. I know there is not much I can do, but still I have to come. That's why you're always here when there are rumors of the monster returning. Do you really think it was a monster that, you know? I don't know. I don't know which is easier to live with. I know you would have done the same for her. It's not up to you to keep everyone safe. Maybe you're right. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to? Yes, it would. Nancy? Yes? Thank you for this. I don't know what help I can offer, Nancy, but whatever you need, I will help you. What's the real story with the monster? I do not know enough to say for sure, but I do know it is tragic. There are two choices. One, the monster's real. He's a living mystery, some terrible abomination hiding in the woods, something that doesn't belong in this rational world. It could just as easily be something else. Something worse. Like what? The worst monsters are self-made. There are people like you and like me, but they have taken a terrible turn. They let everything awful, everything sad take up all of the breathing room in their hearts until all they know is revenge. But if it's just one person, why the pattern? Why always the same girls? That, I don't know. Every generation has its troubles, Nancy. When the troubles can't be contained, the monster comes out. One thing I do know, it's monsters, human or otherwise, can't stand hope. They can't stand being near a good heart. They try to destroy anything honest and good. They can't bear to remember how they once were. Bye. Goodbye. Nancy, do you mind if I ask you a question? This has been bothering me. Why are you here? What do you mean? Marcus explained why you were coming here, but it doesn't make sense why he'd send you to solve this problem. You're just a kid. It's not right that he should send you. I'm not a kid, and I'm good at getting to the bottom of tough mysteries. I've heard, but something about this seems wrong. Marcus or whoever recommended you be sent here, maybe they had not the best of intentions. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that I'm going to figure out what's really going on here. Is that what you think? I hope it is true. I have proof that Lucas wasn't the monster. Take a look at the picture I took with my phone. Do you believe me now? This is not good, not good at all. If that's the monster and he's real, then I'm afraid it's you he's coming after. If you can't solve this case soon, you need to leave here. Is my card ready? Here you are. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy.
desk. Quickly, something terrible has happened. Nancy, something terrible has happened. It's Lucas. He's missing. Could it just be another one of Lucas's pranks? I wish it was. It's not his style. He wants to be there to see what's happening. Anyway, he... He's just not capable of something like this. You've got to make sure he's okay, Nancy. I thought you didn't like him. This is not about liking, Nancy. Everyone in this castle is family. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Nancy. It looks like Lucas was dragged off. I'd better find him before something bad happens. It's Lucas! He's gone! I'm sure it's nothing. He's probably off trying to play some trick on Carl. No, I've searched everywhere. He would never just leave like that. He knows how dangerous it is to go outside the castle walls at night, especially now. You've got to help me find him, Nancy. That's one of the cow pieces from Lucas's monster game. He must have been brought through here. Lucas? Is everything okay? The creature caught me and locked me up in here. I'll get you out. Hang tight. Nancy? Looks like I need to slide the bar across to unlock the door. I'll have to avoid those pegs while it's moving. Nancy, I'm out of here. Hurry! Nancy? Nancy, are you okay? I'm fine, Lucas. I need you to go and get help. Get anybody, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Hmm? Hmm? What's going on? Hello? Is anyone out there? I need more light. I can't see anything. These images must hide some sort of clue. That one's of the necklace. I 
wonder if the legend pages I've been finding would help. What's this? The legend pages have letters like this on them. I wonder if the order they were in before spells something. That must be the word I need to spell on the wall. It looks like I can start anywhere. That bag wasn't there before. These look like spare costume pieces. All of these supplies must belong to the castle's monster. This email has tomorrow's date. It's a forgery. Looks like whoever this monster is is trying to frame Marcus. Like, I don't need this now, if you had any idea how hot it was in that thing. There, enough with the niceties. Why are you doing this? This castle was never yours. 
It should have been. It would never have been Marcus's if it weren't for me. He can't have it without me. I don't understand. Neither did I. I pushed him every day to go out there to make a mark on the world. I made him. And one day he makes his first big deal and the very next day he leaves me for some stupid young blonde who really gets him. Then he was gone. This isn't exactly gonna bring him back. I don't want him back. I want him ruined. By scaring away his customers? Uh, no. What if he told me to orchestrate the creature's sightings as a publicity stunt? Did he? No. But maybe I've got some emails and letters that say otherwise. And what if this publicity stunt led to a deadly accident? He'd be done. Over. Worse off than the day we met. You won't get away with this. Yes, I will. Do you still not see who you are in all this? You're the girl in the dress. And I'm the monster. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm the girl in the dress, and you're the monster, remember? You don't want to make an enemy of me. One day, I will find you. Well, there's a waiting list. I hope you're patient. Goodbye, Anya. Auf Wiedersehen, Nancy. You do know what that means, don't you? It means until we meet again. Yes, yes, I know. Dear Hannah, the police soon arrived, and Anya traded one cell for another. She swore her revenge, which may be something I need to keep an eye out for. In 20 to 30 years, Marcus was shocked by Anya's lingering anger. Despite their past, he really felt he could trust her. Now that the castle's dark history has gotten a little too personal, he's decided to put Castle Finster up for sale. He thanked me for my help and promised me a special surprise in the future. When Carl discovered that Castle Finster's monster was at long last a hoax, he decided maybe he wasn't really cursed after all. Having his board game approved seemed to reinforce that idea, and he decided to use earnings from selling his game to leave his job at the castle. I have a feeling he may be planning a trip to Canada to meet a certain special someone. Renata went off on her travels the very next day. She seems to have no intention of ever returning to Castle Finster. And I think she's happy about that. She thanked me for all of the snacks and told me to always keep an eye out for her on the road. I hope to meet her again. Maybe I'll even hear the story of our time together in Castle Finster. Lucas and his family moved away from the castle. At first, he seemed sad to leave the castle behind. But after the package I just got, it looks like he's already back to his old self. He promises he won't be dressing up as a monster anytime soon. Knowing Lucas... That probably means he's got something better planned. We'll just have to wait and see. Now that almost everyone has moved on, the castle is no longer the nightmarish place it once was. The new owners don't fixate on the castle's deadly myths, but instead embrace the entirety of the castle's rich history, the bad and the good. Although Castle Finster has seen its share of tragedy, it has also enjoyed many years of peace and happiness. Now the castle's residents no longer hide behind locked doors in fear of a mythical monster. From what I hear, Der Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival has been cancelled and replaced with a Finster Festival, a celebration of all the wonderful and unique things that have happened within the walls of the castle. That sounds like more fun, and it's easier to say. Last I heard, my luggage was in Moldova. Hopefully it will find its way back to River Heights before too long. As for me, I'm finally coming home. I can't wait to get back. Love, Nancy.
I'm returning home to River Heights to compete in the annual Clues Challenge with Bess, George, and Ned. But when the competition spirals out of control and River Heights' beloved Old Town Hall is burned to the ground, I find myself the prime suspect in a high-profile arson case. It's up to me to clear my name before I'm forever known as River Heights' public enemy number one. Join me on my next adventure, Alibi in Ashes.